Hello, it's Sean. The next project for my Walking Dead All Out War by Mantic is to replace the barricade tokens with three dimensional ones. So these are the tokens that come in the game. They're cardboard and they have images on them of various things fence and tires and a door. Uh, but I want to have something a little bit more dynamic. So, start with, I have a tongue depressor. I'm uh, going to cut these down. It's a little bit wider than these, and I'm okay with that, because some of the stuff I want to stick on it uh, will be a little bit wider. But I am going to make them the same length as these in the game. Uh, so to start with, I just want to give myself a mark for how long they should be. And then I'm going to work on trimming this down. All right, uh, I've got these cut and I will start adding pieces to add the 3D element to them. All right, so we've got the bases trimmed out and they're cleaned up. I kind of trimmed the ends up so they're smooth and not rough. So these are for use with Mantic's All Out War. But the good thing about this is depending on what I put on them, they can be used for lots of other games as well. So if you're playing 40K, that works. You can use these for scatter terrain for that or barricades there. Uh, if you're playing a post-apocalyptic game, like uh, this is not a test or um, really anything, I'm going to put stuff on them that'll let them be usable for that. So got these oil drums these are from games workshop a couple of them um, pretty close to the same size this is from a, like a Tamaya model kit and a bunch of these jerry cans are too um, I got this from a buddy at a convention uh, cut out all the pieces put them together and I've got six oil drums and I don't know probably 20 jerry cans, a bunch of wrapped up tarps, it looks like a sleeping bag, a backpack, different bags, uh, and all these will be useful. I've also dug through some of my bits from Games Workshop games, and I've got some kind of little storage container there. It's hard to see. It's a little canteen there. See if I can zoom in on it. So that's a little canteen. Nice little shovel. Some binoculars. And some grenades. Another, some kind of a, like a pouch. And all these are little details that you can put into your barricades or whatever scatter train of it, whatever kind you're making to just give it a little bit of character, help it tie into the theme of the game. This canteen had an Aquila, the Eagle from uh, Warhammer 40k because it's from an Imperial Guard sprue. Um, I trimmed that Eagle off because I don't want this to be uh, tied with Games Workshop. You don't really need to trim it off because it's small enough nobody would notice if you don't paint it bright nobody's going to notice and even if you did paint it bright nobody would care so that's just kind of what I'm getting started with so just pick one of your bases move some of this stuff out of the way here these have been primed gray because you know I like priming stuff with gray um, and you just kind of stick some stuff these are some pallets that I made out of uh, 
uh, strips of balsa wood. I had this laying around the balsa wood and I thought I'd try it. Uh, I mean, you could put a pallet down with some jerry cans stacked on it. I'm trying to make these a little bit raised. So I'm going to stick this pallet on its side. Lean it against an oil drum. Maybe set a couple of jerry cans in there. And maybe a sleeping bag. And then, you know, put a little, one of the little containers on top of the jerry can. And again, once it's painted, it'll look nice. Adds a little bit of character to the field that you're playing on. And it blocks line of sight, makes it hard to move through, whatever you want it to do. And you can do a variety of different things. I mean, I could just have a row of oil, uh, not oil, yeah, oil cans here if I want. You could put some on their side. And do something like that. Well, of course you can't see it. Right. Paint those up, glue them down, and you're set. Um, or have them just all upright. There's lots of different things you can do. I've also got some of these hazard cones. Uh, these are from some radio controlled cars that I got a long time ago. Had these laying around. I'll incorporate some of those into these as well. So for now, I just have to paint some of these oil drums and these pieces of debris. Um, I got this big barricade. Again, this is a games workshop item, but I think I will... Uh, trim it down because that just doesn't seem very appropriate for uh, the Walking Dead. But if I trim out some of these I-beams and just have them stuck on the in the, the item, that won't look out of place. That'll look appropriate. So dig through your bits, Ben, see what you got. Uh, you can find a, a lot of different uh, junk from uh, electric electronics you can find some nice uh, things in that that would work for this if you don't want to go and actually buy these kind of things um, making piles of pallets out of scrap wood nothing wrong with that and it would actually look cool I'll probably make uh, some fence pieces that will go on here as well um, for one or two of them uh, just stack of wood it would work as well um, Something like uh, your corrugated cardboard, you paint that up and that looks like tin. And that gives you a nice area, uh, or a nice piece to cover up a large area as well. got a base color down on some of these jerry cans and oil drums. Next step is to dirty them up a little bit. So I've got Agrax Earthshade and I'm just going to apply a wash.
Next up for the barricades is I'm going to paint these bases anthracite gray um, so they'll match the the road. Um, the map that comes with the base game is a big intersection so most of it is roadway. I'm probably going to make a custom board at some point and I think that it'll be primarily uh, pavement as well. So these barricades will fit well on that if they're based up with the the gray that is going to match the, the the cement. So I've got the oil drums painted and I washed them, some with black or Nolan oil, others with Agrax Earthshade. Um, my palettes, I painted them the cheap craft paint from uh, Walmart. Uh, it's nutmeg, no, burnt umber. And then I dry brushed them with a tan to make them look like they're actual wood got some jerry cans I painted some blue just to me up to water potable water and then some red which is fuel um, and then I've got a guy here just for scale to kind of see how they look um, like the palette I use the model to kind of determine a size and it's not to scale it's just cut wood but it's pretty close seems about accurate uh, you know, it comes up to his mid chest, I guess. So, I don't know. There's different sizes of palettes. This one's a little bit wider. So, uh, this is just for a game, so it doesn't need to be 100% accurate, but having it relatively close in scale is nice. Like these oil drums, they seem kind of big to me, um, but they'll be fine. So, Let's see, let's put some of these items on a base and see how we want it to be laid out. And you know, if you do this before you glue anything down, it's easy to replace or change how it is. Once it's glued, it's kind of stuck. So That looks good, just like that, actually. So, we can glue it down. The ammunition came in this. Uh, I clipped it apart. I've got these now. And I figure if I paint those up, I can make them look like uh, the big orange road cones. Um, kind of the, the barrel looking type, not the ones that look like uh, that. But stick those on there to give something to lean against. Um, had a model kit that has these kind of I-beams. I uh, think I can cut those up and just use those for whatever. These are from an old RC car kit. I've got several of these. Uh, they're kind of big. You see them next to the guy, but that's okay. Stuff doesn't have to be exactly to scale. The uh, And you know, sometimes you'll see some pretty big cones. So paint those, add those on here as well. Um, at Home Depot, not Home Depot, Michael's, I found these little craft sticks rounded on one end. I suppose they're for like, I don't know what they're for, whatever they are. 
I thought, oh look, that could be kind of a picket fence. So I cut down um, a number of them and I figure if I line them up and glue a couple cross pieces on them, it might just be one cross piece because that's kind of big, and yeah, maybe two. Um, that'll look like a picket fence and I can have a couple sections of that lean in here. Uh, it has some balsa, uh, just different sizes of balsa, cut those up. Um, and same, same thing with that, line them up, a couple of cross pieces, glue it together, and that'll be kind of a taller fence, maybe more of a privacy fence. Uh, and again, kind of thick wood for the scale, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, alternatively, I could just use these as longer strips to make a taller fence and it's a lot thinner uh, wood. So found these at Hobby Lobby. It looks like a, uh, like a big potting plant uh, or a pot for a potted plant. But again, kind of big, but hey, it could be like an outside concrete one. Uh, that would be a good thing. So I'll probably just paint that up to look like concrete or something and then maybe put a bush on top uh, maybe not. I might drill it out, make a little bit bigger hole. Um, I'm not sure I'll do that actually, but uh, you can either have it on its side, some dirt spilling out of it, or have it upright with kind of a dead, dead plant in it. Uh, so those are just some ideas. Um, those are just some ideas for what you can do for your uh, barricades. Um, I'll probably make up three or four that are uh, using some of this material, different stuff that I have. Uh, it's like I said, just uh, it's always good to just keep ideas. Uh, I've had this for a while, uh, this bullet tray, and thought that was a pretty pretty good idea. We'll see how it looks when it's done. Um, maybe put a couple of them across there with the girder. And that gives me something to lean my fence against. It's actually not a bad idea. So I put together a variety of different pieces that are going to be on these bases. I've got the first couple that I did with the original items I had and I wanted to have a little bit different variety. So I've still got a couple more barrels. This is Talus, it's model railroad stuff, looks like big bowlers. 
Um, these I've got painted orange now. Um, make them look like different kind of orange cone. I've got these orange cones that'll work as well. These I got at Hobby Lobby. They're just a, a wooden craft piece. Painted them to look like they're cast cement. And I figured I'd glue a little dead bush on top of them and it makes it looks like it's a potted plant or something uh, that was dragged out. Uh, you see those in front of buildings. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Got a couple different fence options. This is just like a, a nice privacy fence. This is a different kind of privacy fence. Uh, kind of a slated thing. Did a couple of those and then I did some kind of shorter fence, a little picket fence, just the, the white picket. I figure use a couple of those uh, on a, a base, give some options. Got some uh, backpacks and sleeping bags and just uh, rolled up tarps. So it's just uh, a couple of different options. Uh, I think it'll give a little bit of uh, variety to these barricades and make them uh, all kind of stand out and look a little bit different. So now I just have to stick them down and figure out how I want them to look. So now I've got seven completed uh, barricades ready to go for the Walking Dead All Out War. Uh, there's a little bit of variety. This maybe is a little bit too clean, but I'm not sure how to dirty that up. Maybe I'll try a wash on it, but that'll make it pretty muddy. Maybe I'll thin down a wash, but for now it looks good. Uh, happy with how these turned out. Uh, I think that they'll look good on the table and you can kind of see for scale uh, they're pretty pretty good scale you know see over parts of it not others so uh, anyway if you like this video uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, different projects that I'm working on, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.